Good day to you. How you all doing? <sighs> Back on form. Right, fixed our little problems we had. We might go into that later. But we're still on down ready. However, today we've got some pucker stuff we're going to be doing. I'm going to take you to my friend's restaurant, like I said. Chris, the Penny Bun. Down near Glencoe. It's on the Outdoor Education Centre. And uh, Chris is a spot on chef. So we're going to go and have Sunday lunch there at 12. And then we're going to go and see some lovely friends that have come down. They're up the road on a park up. So we're going to go and have a spot of lunch and then go and catch up with them. So I'm going to show you Chris's restaurant because he's such a lovely bloke. He used to run the food cab cabin here. If you've ever been to Del Reddy, Chris used to run the, the Alvi food trailer on the entrance and he loves cooking. He's a proper chef. He goes out foraging for fungi, incorporates all forage goods into his food and boy he can cook, I'm telling you. So I'm looking forward to this big time. I'm gonna go and have a, I think we might have a roast beef Sunday lunch. <laughs> oh, I can't flip it, wait. And then I'm going to take you to the next place. And then after that, I've got a bit of a drive to do. But you might get that on the end of this video. And we're going to go and see someone else. Anyway, Sam is getting a van ready. I've got to unplug her. And then we're off. So, come on, let's go and have a look, eh? we are at Badaguish Outdoor Education Centre and this is the Penny Bun look at that that's Chris's restaurant how beautiful is that also it's dog friendly so you're literally not too far away from Dalredi campsite there's a few other campsites down that road as you go up to the Cairngorms including Glenmore which is where we usually go as well, on the uh, sides of Loch Morlock. But it's pucker, isn't it? Look at that. Lodges, wigwams and camping here. But here's his restaurant. Oh, it's well posh. Let's have a look. Hey, mate. Look at that. Let's go and have a look, eh? Wow. Chris has just took me in there for a look round. Just quickly before I get a bit of video. But this place is absolutely fantastic. I'll show you around. There's so much here. So much. So this is his restaurant. He runs with his business partner, the Penny Bun. Let's show you in. They do all corporate events here. You can come up and have your lunch, your tea. I'll put the website details underneath. It's about a 30 minute walk down that track to Glenmore campsite, through the forest. It's a massive outdoor education center. There's pods, glamping pods, Capercaillie up in the hills over there. It's flipping 
lovely. I'm so pleased for these guys. I mean, I've known Chris quite a while, and he's a top chef, and he's wanted something like this for years, and I'm so happy for it. This is brilliant. Let me show you in. So here's the reception. This is meant from Raven. As I said, it's dog friendly. Free Wi Fi. So you can come in for your cakes and your coffees. Look at that, got a nice coffee there. Open fire, beautiful seating area. Look at that. Beautiful building. Absolutely fantastic. There's the kitchen, I'll show you in there in a minute. Now these guys can cook, let me tell you that. If you come here, you will not have a bad meal. It's literally 18 minutes from Dalready site and 25 minute walk, half hour walk from Glenmore. Plus you can drive up here, it's a nice, beautiful drive in all the way down that road as you see. Plenty of passing spaces, plenty of car parking out there. It does say no vans and camper vans, but that's overnight. If you come in here to eat, don't worry about that. There's Chris's smoker out there, his beloved smoker. That boy can smoke. Smoke me, I tell you, jeez. And this is sort of a banqueting area. They do weddings, all sorts of functions in here. There's a big projector there for doing business events. So they do business events in here and provide all the food. So over there are your pods. Now you can hire those. You can hire the pods, you can come and stay here. So you can come in, into the restaurant, there he is, look, cat with the cream. He's getting his food out of smoke, look. It's absolutely, I'll come in here and I have the biggest smile on my face for, the, for Chris. It's flipping brilliant, look, it's an outdoor education center, so you've got all your things you can do, swing across there and that. They do, skiing tuition up here, a canoeing tuition and stuff like that up this this place. So if you want to learn how to canoe, etc. But I was just talking to the staff, the girls, and they're gonna put all plants in here so it's all like nice and aesthetic. Flipping I'll tell you what in I'll smell nice in here. I'll quickly show you in the here it is. I won't stay in here too long because I'll get a strike on the music. Look at that. Proper kitchen. <laughs> oh, pulled beef. Chrissy's uh, steak sandwiches. Oh my god. But he's got his smoked meat over there, he's cooking. There he goes, turn the music off. Can I quickly show him in here, Chris? Sorry? Can I show him in here? Yeah, just tell him. Yeah, no, I won't look. <laughs> it's a working kitchen, mate. Look at that. Oh, the juices are flowing. Wow. It's beautiful. Let's get my glasses on and show you what the menu is. So there we go. Oh, different bottles of beer and that. There's the beer menu and the drinks menu, the wine menu. That's the special board, up there. And you've got an all day menu here. Oh, flipping hell. Oh my God, look at that. Oh. Beef carpaccio. Isle of Mole ch cheddar crackly marinated chanterelles and a truffle dressing. Um, um, um. Wow. It's proper good, isn't it? You've got to come here. If you come up to the Kangongs, this is definitely where you've got to come for a meal. And it's dog friendly. And there's a massive car park. Right, I'm going to go and drink my coffee and have a chat and wait for my food to come out. I can't flip in, wait.
Oh, it's lovely. And I've had to get out, go for a little walk with the dog quickly. Just because it smells so lovely what they're cooking in now. Absolutely beautiful. But look at this. Look at the surroundings. Where else could you have a meal in somewhere like that in surroundings like this? I'll get Chris's business partner in a minute. I'm terrible with names. He did say what his name was, but... Chris, yeah. what's your business partner's name? Uh, Carl and Mel. Carl and Mel. Yeah. Right. That was Andy. Carl and Mel. So he's got a, got a concern with those. But, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. I've just seen the food, so... I know what's coming. But a penny bun is what the Italians would call a porcini, a sep. And it's the king of mushrooms, basically. It's a belit, belitus edulis, I think. There's so many mushrooms, I can't remember all the uh, Latin names half the time. But I think it's belitus edulis. And you find them in these forests. Found them before. Maybe we'll find, find one. But this is a little track you can walk down, cycle down. But what a lovely cycle ride from Glenmore campsite. Also, up in the Cairngorms in front of you there, is a air. A motorhome and camper van air they've put up there. Um, the only thing I'd say about that is that in rough weather, be careful. Because you will get hammered up there if it's too bad they shut the road off in snowy weather but we thought we'd just come out anyway rambling on we thought we'd come out for a quick walk before we get our lovely lunch <sighs> can't flip him way mate and show you around these forests here are incredible as i said capacali up there up in them hills there you get mountain hair up there, you know the hair that turn white in the winter. In the element here, food and countryside. Look at that smile. Happy days. I ain't said that yet, have I? Happy flipping days. So that in the distance is a ski resort. And you can see snow on the mountains. Wow. And that's where that uh, air is, right the way up the top there. And the ski resort. This has all been clear cut, this part here. And you can see the silver birch coming up through it. They're pioneer trees. If you used to scrape this whole landscape flat, the first trees that will come up are silver birch. Pioneer trees, they're called. But... All around the Cairngorms, I keep saying but, all around the Cairngorms, they're getting rid of all the larch pole pines and all the non-native species. They're basically pulling them all out and replanting them, replanting the Cairngorms with the natural Scots pine. As you can see through there, that one that looks like a big old gnarly tree through the middle of that bit there is an old Scots pine. And they are beautiful trees. Like a bit of light. So hence the reason, when they put these plantations in here, as you can see, it's like a Christmas tree plantation over there, that's a plantation. And when they stuff all those in close together, you don't get any of that lower canopy growth. All that underneath there. All the heather and the grasses and the different plants. Because all that lot grows up really quickly and tall Hence the reason you get nice straight floorboards. Where a Scots pine grows like that. And it's not suitable for commercial forestry. Look at that. This is incredible. It's so beautiful up here. JP's rant of the day coming. Right. Look at that. 
some lazy douchebag has picked their dog poo up, flipping biodegradable packet of protein, and put it in a plastic bag and thrown it down there, here. That is one of my pet hates. Sammy's doing JP rant of the day dance. Flipping hell. Oh, I picked that up on the way back and put it in a bin. That does my, who else's head does that do in? During lockdown in, around my local village, we had a big problem with people walking around the village, because it's quiet there, picking their dog crap up in bags and just hanging it in the trees. If you think these, these bags are biodegradable, pick your dog poo up, hang it in a tree in your back garden and see how long it lasts. I guarantee they don't disappear overnight. Anyway, JP's rant of the day over. There's a lot of water around here, so I'd expect it to be pretty Midgeville around here. But obviously the water's all this lovely brown colour. And there, that's the tannins out of the peat. I've drunk that. You'll never get the brown out of it. I drunk that on a little island when we was doing a... Well, I drunk it loads of flipping times, but... We dug a well on a deserted island off the coast of Scotland, off the west coast of Scotland, off of Isla. Dug a well. And we've even been to a campsite where they've got a bore well. And two women were complaining, Oh, this water's not clean, it's brown. And that's what the colour of the water is in mole, because they dig it out of the ground, that's where it comes from. But lovely little stream now. Nice little sandy stream. So yeah, anyway, this will all come up with Scots Pines and those silver birches over the next five to ten years. It'll be lovely. Look at that view. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. I wonder why. Oh, we're sitting down. We're excited. I'm going to have that. Braised shin of beef, I think. I'm going to ask Chris what he recommends, but he'll recommend everything. But I'm going to film on and off in here, because they're playing music, and I don't want to get a strike. But we'll show you what we're having for dinner. Right, we've ordered. Sammy's having a roast, roast beef. It's on Specials Board. Sunday ro roast beef with carrots, roast potatoes, fine beans, and Yorkshire puddings. We're having two of those. I'm having the beef carpaccio for star. Sammy likes dessert, so I'm having a star, Sammy's having a dessert. I can't wait for this. Beef carpaccio, mulled cheddar crisps, pickled chanterelles that Chris would have picked. Look at that. It's just so sweet. Right, let's give this a go. That is so tender, that beef. Let's get a bit of everything. Right, bro. Yeah, yeah. And your small one. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Get involved. 
Nom nom nom. <laughs> Time for a nap. Someone's at me. Take bloody pictures of it. Look at that. Ask cheesecake. Oh, ice cream. Sounds like a citrusy cheesecake. The red berry sauce and vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. And it's blackberry sauce. Oh. Have a taste. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> Neil, Carl, and Chris, you've pulled it out of the bag, lads. That was flipping lovely. Well, I'm going to go before I get a second round in. <laughs> See you later, guys. Thanks very much. Brilliant, brilliant. That restaurant, you've got to go there. It's such a beautifully relaxed environment. I mean, we're in here dressed like this. You know what I mean? You can walk up here. You can take your dog in. It's flipping stunning. The food, I knew it was going to be good. I know what Chris's cooking's like. He's a flipping genius when it comes to food and freshly foraged stuff and smoking meats and stuff. Carl, and I think his other half's name's Mel, who they're in business, he's in business with. Flipping brilliant. I can't sing their praises highly enough. If you come to the Cairngorms area, to Aviemore, that's an absolute must. Well done. Well done, team. You're all top people. Really enjoyed that. Right. So now we're going to go and see some more friends. I'm going to go and have a kick. <laughs> Flip here now. We're going to go and see some more friends now. It's a bit of an episode of Friends, this is. Right. After that delicious, delectable meal that the guys chefed up for us. Oh, that's flipping superb. Absolutely beautiful. We popped down the road to come for a walk and to catch up with some lovely friends. See if you can guess who this lot is, look. There he is. Lindsay. There she is. Angie. There she is. Sammy. There she is. Desmond Stonders. Dave and Lindsay. So we come for a little walk over a bit of an RSPB reserve, just for a mooch. Have a little look around, see what's about. Because we think it's open. Might be, might be not. Let's go and have a look. It's beautiful and calm. Really, really nice. I started. Oh. You started so finished. <laughs> yeah. It is open. Result. There you go, and also, Dan, I've seen one. Kappa Kaylee. Didn't say it'd be a real one, did ya? Just that sea one. Kappa Kaylee. Look at that. It's a beast, isn't it? Let's go and have a look in here.
sexy and he knows it. Here we go. Hey. We've had a lovely couple of days with these guys. Me and David might have had a little couple of tipples last night. <laughs> but we won't go into that. We won't go into that, David, will we? A couple of small ones. Get yourself over to their channel, Desmond's Donders. I'll leave the link underneath this video. Get yourself over there. If you love looking at Scotland and drone shots and park ups and stuff like that, these are the guys to watch. You've got to go and watch them. Really, really lovely people. Good friends of ours. Make sure you get over and subscribe and like the videos. Hey. Right. You're all off now, aren't you? Yeah. yeah They're off, and we're going somewhere else. Yeah, some people got to work. I've got to keep the world in short. Right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay works at Walker's Shortbread. Vicky <laughs> likes shortbread, didn't you, Vic? <laughs> yeah, happy days. Anyway, we're off now, and we'll show you where we're going next in a little while. Have you actually recorded? No. I'll let him say goodbye. Give him bye. a wave. Bye. Bye bye. I'm coming with you. Oh, yeah, what are you waving <laughs> goodbye for? <laughs> so, I have to put up with. Plans changed. Oh, dear. Being a Libra, and I can never make your mind up. But we've had to take a couple of detours because there's heavy traffic on a flipping road. Road works everywhere on the A9. But it's took us down a little road. And as you might know, I'm a bit partial to a single malt. Funnily enough, it's took me to Dalwini, one of my favourites. And there's a visitor centre here. And Gladys just steered herself in here. You know, it's a bit like magic. Steered me in here. So, it'd be rude not to go and have a look, wouldn't it? So we're going to go and have a look in Dalwini. Beautiful old distillery. That's the A9 over there, creeping along. Road works all the way along there, but luckily, Waze has took me round it. Anyway, let's have a look in here. Dalwini. Boot to boot. See what we can get. Right, old. Oh, it's a nice shop. Loads of stuff in here. Look at that. Winter's Gold is one of my favourites, and it's one of the only single malts. This one here. It's one of the only single malts you're supposed to drink freezing cold. That one. Lots of different single malts in here. Singleton. Oh. Hiya. Hello, sir. How are you today? Good, thank you. You alright? Yeah. Back to come in here. Go on then. Capture this shelf over here. Oh. This is the new whiskies and all are different colors. Really? A different style of maturation. This one has a different style of distilling. Okay. So use a cloudy wort and short fermentation. Very oh, green, okay. like a blue cheese kind of flavour. Ooh, I like blue cheese. Cool. Happy days. I'm gonna have to have a little look around and see what we can get. Epic. Like, take a look around. If you want to try any whiskey, let me know. I'll help you. And I can speak on that camera. You can speak on that camera, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, I know my darling. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. Happy days. Might have to try that one. <gasps> but we your own. I've done that before. Right, let's have a look. See what I can get. What nice staff they've got in there. I do like a distillery. But I couldn't come to Dale Winnie, could I? Without getting a bottle of Winter's Gold. Gonna draw a dram of that later. Right, let's go to the next place. Because I need to spend some more money. Next stop, look where we are. The house of Bruar. Oh, I love it in here. Expect me to have an empty wallet by the time I come out of here. Oh my god. Oh, let's have a look. Ooh. Right. Let's have a butcher's look around here, right? Eh? Oh, I think I might got off lightly in here. There's a couple of things I like. I like the kilts. And I've got enough outdoor kit to make my own shop. It is lovely in here. 
although a little bit lumpy. Right, let's go and look at the grub. I know, fly fishing. So if you haven't been here before, there's a massive restaurant there, big food hall. That's new, a new coffee place. I do all gardening stuff. In there's the food court. I love it here. I don't feel like a trip to Scotland unless we stop at the House of Brewer, or as my mate calls it, the House of Frump. You mate Jason. Let's go and have a look what grub they got. We'll treat ourselves tonight. There's all the meats and chutneys and stuff in here. You're not supposed to. I don't think you're allowed to record in here, but look at that meat. In there, look. That's a proper meat locker. In there. Lovely. Right, got a couple of bits, got some stuff for me little baby that's being born in December. Look at that. There we go. When you're walking past someone that does chips, you just can't resist a bag of chips, can you? Or well, a box of chips in this case. So me and Sammy are gonna go and share these in the van. She's just popped back to make sure the dog was all right. And we're then gonna head to a campsite somewhere near here because can't be bothered to drive anymore. So you'll see that in the next video because this one's probably gone on far too long now. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And at the end, I'm putting up a QR code at the end of my videos now so if you're watching the TV get your phone out activate the camera point it at the QR code it'll come up with a little yellow box and when it does click it and then subscribe on now thank you very much but I don't know where Sammy's gone oh there she is over there so that's going on so we're gonna go back enjoy our chips Search out another campsite because I've got a clue where I'm going next. And I'll see you in the next one. You stay safe and stay sane. And thanks for watching. Chip time. See you later. Bye.